My name is Eric Minier. I'm a game designer here at Jersey Jack Pinball. I wanted to get on today to talk to you guys about a really cool opportunity we had uh, to bring something really cool to a fan of not only the pinball machine, but also the band, Guns N' Roses. A little bit after the launch of Guns N' Roses Not In This Lifetime Pinball, we had an online contest where the top prize was a signed upper playfield from the entire design team of the pinball machine. So one of our top fans was the recipient of this prize. So Raymond from the Netherlands got this fully signed play field from the design team. He's super happy and in kind of a tongue in cheek way, he's like, well, now I just need the other co-designer's signature slash be really cool. And that thought kind of stuck with me for a while. Uh, and we made some magic happen. So, as you guys know, Slash was the co-designer of the Guns N' Roses Not In This Lifetime pinball machine. Um, he is a pinball nut through and through. He loves the games uh, that we make together, and he's part of the JJP family uh, forever. We still talk all the time. He is still obsessed with pinball. Uh, so I didn't feel it was out of place to reach out and ask Slash for a small favor. So living in the Netherlands, uh, Raymond was actually willing to travel. He visited JP DeWin, who also lives in the Netherlands, and got JP to sign his upper play field. Then I started to look at the tour schedule for Guns N' Roses, and it just so happened that Guns N' Roses was playing the Netherlands in June of 2022. So after talking with Slash, he told me what we needed to do in order to get this play field into his hands. We arranged it with Raymond, he dropped the play field off at a location, so the day after the concert, Raymond goes back to the location to grab the upper plate field. Uh, Raymond sent me a message that he also dropped off his apron in hopes that he could get the band to sign that as well. Uh, Slash texted me back and he said, you know, it was really cool. He dropped off his apron um, and I got Axel and Duff to sign it as well. And Raymond was really cool because he wrote me this note and gave me a whole bunch of candy. So the next day, Raymond picks up his play field, brings it back to his house, and it was really cool to see his reaction. Um, it's very rewarding as a game designer to see when people get so much enjoyment out of something that you make. Um, and just to be able to take that little extra step, go that little extra bit further to make their experience once in a lifetime. It was cool to make this happen with Slash. Uh, we worked well together on Guns N' Roses, and it's definitely not the last time. I will not forget this soon. Not in this lifetime. <laughs>